This scroll mainnet is live. The airdrop is written in scroll, I mean stone. So we need to complete a few simple tasks to increase our odds of the airdrop. Now, if you've watched our videos in the past, we've covered the test net. And personally, I believe we've actually qualified for the airdrop. Well, a small portion of it anyway, as early users. But I think it's now important that we use the mainnet to claim a huge portion of it. The scroll airdrop could net us up to $10,000. So it's definitely something we do not want to miss. Now, welcome back again. I'm Theo, a content creator for the Op Crypto Talk team. And in this video, I will show you how to qualify for the scroll airdrop. And remember, nothing in this video is financial advice. Purely my own opinion and based on my own research. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose. And if you feel more comfortable, use a different wallet to interact with these decentralized applications. And be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at Op Crypto Gems for daily crypto content. And check out our website for frequent guides, project reviews, articles and everything crypto related well guys let's jump straight into the airdrop video okay ladies and gentlemen so to start with we are officially on the scroll website which is scroll.io and you're going to need to have a metamask wallet to continue with this video now i'm hoping that you've done the test net for scroll in the past which we covered it's possibly too late if you are now trying to do that however it is worth a shot so i will leave the link for the video in the description below if you would like to participate in the scroll test net now that will obviously increase your odds of the airdrop but it is not guaranteed as we have already gone past the scroll test net and now the main net is live so obviously they are probably tracking who are the main net users they're probably stopped with the test net tracking however you just never know so what we're going to do is guys you're going to need to have ethereum in your ethereum mainnet wallet now you can avoid this however the best odds of getting the airdrop are by using the ethereum mainnet to then bridge over to the scroll mainnet now you can also use third party bridges to bridge to the scroll network such as RhinoFi or even orbiter finance which is my favorite one However, let's go through this video with option one. Now, what we're going to do is the first thing to do is go over to layer3.xyz, which is a quest platform. And we've used that multiple times in our videos, which I hope you've seen. If you haven't, then I would recommend going through many of our airdrop tutorial videos, which we have a huge playlist of, and I will show you at the end of the video. However, if you're on layer three website right now, what you want to do is, by the way, I'll leave this link in the description below. You want to go over to new for you, or you can go to search. And what you want to do is you want to type in scroll and what you'll see is you'll see a whole bunch of scroll quests six of them were the testnet ones which we did in the past like i've already mentioned and if they're still here you can give them a go and it should help you qualify for the airdrop now the only one available for the mainnet is to bridge to scroll mainnet and i know for a fact that soon more quests will come for the scroll network so keep an eye on the layer 3 platform as it helps you to get airdrops for many different crypto protocols but in our case, the scroll mainnet. So we want to get this scroll one as we get an NFT and we also get some XP and we're also qualifying for the scroll airdrop. Now we click begin. And just to let you know, guys, that layer three have not got a token. They've been hinting for a token for a very long time. So this protocol right here could also do an airdrop. And that's why I recommend using layer three. Now, as you can see, it says bridge to scroll mainnet. Verify if you bridge to the scroll mainnet via the official bridge or the Rhino bridge. Now, the official bridge, like I mentioned, will require Ethereum from the Ethereum mainnet. Whereas if you use a third party bridge such as Orbiter Finance or Rhino bridge, like it says here, you can bridge from Polygon, Arbitrum, Linear, Base and Optimism, which will help you save a lot on Ethereum gas fees, which can obviously be expensive. Now, today, the GUI is sitting at 13 at the time of making this video. So what I would recommend is, guys, anything under 15 GUI should be fairly cheap to interact with the Ethereum mainnet. Anything above that, I would recommend waiting until it drops below a 15 GUE. As you can see here, transactions will cost a minimum of $5, roughly more or less. So depending on how much you want to spend on your gas fees is dependent on the time that you'll wait for the GUE to go up or down. Now, going back, we're going to be using the Ethereum mainnet as I want to qualify for the highest odds of the getting the scroll airdrop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the scroll website. As you can see and on the front page you see a button that says bridge into scroll which is exactly what we're going to do we're going to click that button and if we go up into my metamask wallet you'll see that we have 117 dollars worth of ethereum 0.0653 eth to be precise and if you don't know how to get ethereum then we have a video exactly showing you how to do that and exactly how to use the ethereum network so i'll leave that link in the description below also however continuing we now want to bridge our ethereum to the scroll mainnet and we have to start off by connecting our wallet in the top right corner choosing metamask 
click the next button to confirm and connect. As you can see, it shows our available Ethereum. When you're bridging over, guys, just make sure that you're leaving Ethereum for gas fees. So don't bridge over all the maximum ETH that you have, otherwise you'll be left with nothing on the Ethereum mainnet and having to buy more once again. But if that's not a problem, then so be it. But I'm going to be sending 0.045 ETH, which is roughly $80 if my maths is correct. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click deposit funds. And as you can see here, there's going to be a total of roughly 0.05 ETH. So the gas fees are costing more or less $8 to $10, which like I said, is not cheap. And that's why I've given you the option for a third party bridge instead of the Ethereum mainnet scroll bridge. Now, I'm going to be doing this like I mentioned because I want the highest odds of the airdrop, which I believe this would definitely, definitely increase our odds instead of using a third party bridge. But nonetheless, using a third party bridge is also a good choice if you have no other choice. So click deposit funds. As you can see, the gas fee is $8.42, like I mentioned. And I was pretty much right. A total of $80 will be sent over to scroll. So click confirm. And then in my Ethereum wallet, once this transaction is complete, I should have roughly more or less $30 remaining in ETH. Now, that's not a problem as I don't really use the Ethereum mainnet as much. I'm more of a layer two network guy on this kind of wallet. I do have a wallet that I use for the Ethereum mainnet and all other layer ones. However, more or less on this wallet, I'm pretty much just choosing layer two networks to interact with as of Obviously, we are trying to farm airdrops. So it has been sent over. It takes approximately 20 minutes to send over to the scroll mainnet, which is not a problem. So what we'll do in the meantime is we'll just try and complete some other tasks that are possible. So in the meantime, we'll just wait and be patient. However, for now, what we can do is we can go back to layer three. And if you've bridged from the official scroll bridge, we will be able to verify it. However, if you wanted to do Rhino Bridge, you are able to, to bridge from Polygon, Arbitrum, Linear, Base, and Optimism, like I mentioned. So if we go over to Rhino Bridge, it would be as simple as connecting your wallet. Then you have to authenticate your wallet, enable L2 access. And then from here, you choose your network that you want to send from, choose the token that you want to send, and then you just choose the receiving end as scroll, which it automatically is, connect your wallet, and just send the tokens. That is as simple as that. And eventually you'll get your Ethereum on the scroll mainnet. Now, if we go back to layer three and we click the verify button, bingo, we'll see that we've now done that task. It's telling us to repost this tweet on X, which we don't actually have to do. You can skip this step. As you'll see in five seconds, we will now continue and this will be verified. Bang. So we've completed that quest. As you'll see, we've got a rare chest, got 100 XP, nice NFT incoming. Wicked scroll mainnet, lovely, that's a cool NFT. Add to the collection. And we've also leveled up, so absolutely great. Now we have to wait for more scroll tasks on the layer three platform, but for now, that is that. As you can see, seven active quests, we've completed them all, and 543,000 scroll quests have been completed in total. And it's got a community ranking of three, which means it's the third best protocol on layer three, or even the most popular for that matter. So we are now done with layer three for this video. And guys, one more thing while we're waiting for the Ethereum to reach the scroll mainnet, what you can do is you can add the scroll mainnet to your wallet just by clicking the Ethereum logo up the top, clicking the scroll button. What you'll see is you'll see allow this site to add a network. It gives you the scroll network name, the network URL, the chain ID, and the currency symbol. And then it tells you the MetaMask warnings, but we know that this is the scroll network as this is the official scroll website. So we're gonna click approve, switch to the scroll network. Okay guys, now, so we've officially got our Ethereum bridged over to the scroll mainnet. As we can see, $81.42 with 0.045 ETH. And it took pretty much 20 minutes on the dot. And, and now that we've got our Ethereum on the scroll mainnet, we can now interact with decentralized applications on scroll. So what to do now? We're going to go over to Galaxy and Orbiter Finance, the third party bridge I've mentioned already, have actually got tasks for us to complete for scroll. And as you can see here, Orbiter Bridge Odyssey, the scroll flight. Now this is gonna help us interact with scroll applications. It's gonna help us qualify for the scroll airdrop as well as other protocol airdrops, including Orbiter Finance. Now, there are a total 900 points to claim here, and it's gonna help us qualify for both scroll and Orbiter Finance airdrop, which I've made a video on in the past, and I highly, highly, highly recommend watching, as the airdrop is pretty much 99.999% guaranteed. So, as you can see here, we've already got one task completed, which is to simply follow Orbiter Finance on Twitter, which you can do that very simply. If you haven't set up your Galaxy account, I'd highly recommend doing so, but obviously be careful, disconnect your wallet, as they also had a hack not too long ago. So so I'm assuming that they're safe now as I am obviously connected to their website. But from here, we're going to now bridge to the scroll mainnet via Orbiter Finance, which we've already done. It does update manually, so it might take some time for it to complete. 
as you can see you haven't fulfilled the requirement yet we have so unless we give it a refresh and now it says we have then obviously we're going to have to wait until someone comes on here manually to log on to just confirm that we have bridged from ethereum mainnet to the scroll mainnet now here it says the second task is to bridge Ethereum to scroll mainnet via Orbiter Finance. So it's a very simple one to do and it expires on the 2nd of November. So it's important that we complete this one quickly. So if we go over to Orbiter Finance, by the way, you're going to need to have some Ethereum on any other network apart from obviously scroll. So if we go back, check the eligibilities, use Orbiter Finance to deposit ETH to scroll mainnet through one transaction. The minimum amount of ETH is 0.005. So very easy. We go over to Orbiter choose a network that we want to bridge from let's just choose base for the sake of it connect your wallet switch over to base what you're going to do is you're going to choose scroll as the bottom network obviously as we can see we've got 0.045 and we're going to bridge 0.0111 ethereum from the base network over to the scroll network so send it just like so basically zero cost for gas fees and that's why we try and avoid ethereum mainnet at all costs because we can save basically a hundred percent on gas fees now, wait for the transaction to go through. We're sending over $22.48 and eventually this will become eligible and we'll be able to claim 100 points from here, 50 from here. As you can see, it's already sent over from the base side. Let's go over to our network wallet, go up the top, search for networks. We're gonna choose scroll, obviously. And we've officially received our tokens. So if we go back here, click the refresh button, still hasn't done. So we need to wait for someone to manually come over here and see that we've actually bridged Ethereum to the scroll mainnet from Orbiter Finance. Now, the next step is to retweet this tweet. So you would just simply go on here and click retweet. It's as simple as. And then once you've done that, click the refresh button and 50 points will should come up. Next, up here it says accumulatively swap 20 U or accumulate position size in 1000 U in 10K DEX. So we go over to the 10K DEX, which is dex.10kx.com. It's a protocol for perpetual trading and so on. So you can either short, long, or even simply swap. So we're going to connect our wallet connect metamask choose this account and what we're going to do is this is 20 u so we're going to click 20 dollars of a minimum and i'm going to swap say into usdc so let's just say i did 0 0.0123 which is 22 dollars click confirm 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 come back here we can get rid of that go back down make a swap on scroll via sync swap which is a great decentralized exchange on the zk sync network which we've used in the past and made a separate video of so if we go to sync swap Connect our wallet. It knows we're on the scroll mainnet already. I'm going to go over to trade. We're going to swap to more USDC. So let's just do 0.0121111. 1, 1. Just say it randomly. Doesn't say how much we need to swap on sync swap. So we can just do any amount. I'm just going to do $20 anyway. Get some volume going. It's very important to get some volume, guys. The more volume, the higher odds of the airdrop will get, or at least more tokens. Now, going back, follow ZK Markets on Twitter. A simple one for Twitter. Again, you get 100 points for this one. Go down, go over to Easy Swap, which we've been using for ZK Sync. So we can go over to Izumi Swap, Izumi Finance. We've done, the, we've done the Sync Swap one. Now we're going to go over to Swap and we're going to go and swap some more tokens. Let's just say we connect our wallet, choose our MetaMask wallet. And then after that, we're going to swap some ETH into USDC once again. Click swap. If we go back just to confirm that we don't need to have any volume, which we actually do. Swap over 20 USD value on scroll, which we have. Setting up a reverse resolution of the scroll domain. We can do that one as well after this. That's been done. But if we go back and refresh the page, hopefully we'll be able to claim some more points, which yes, we can. We've got 200 points now for following ZK markets, making us making swaps on sync swap, 10K DEX and so on. So we can claim these 200 points just simply by clicking the blue button. Transaction has been submitted and now we just complete the other task. So it's as simple as this, guys. Next, you would just go up to setting up a reverse domain. So we can go over to the scroll ecosystem, go down. As you can see on social, we've got scroll name service. So if we go over to the website, we can confirm that it is the same website as we go over here. It says scroll NS. So we go over to this part, click launch app. And obviously we are now going to connect our wallet, connect MetaMask. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to search for a name. So I'm going to choose high crypto guy because that is my username. I'm going to click search and it's available. So high crypt, ah, I spelled wrong. That was close. Almost got a wrong one there. If you want to go back, make sure you got the spelling right. As you can see, high crypto guy dot scroll. It's available still, so we're going to click this one. As you can see, it's 0.0031 ETH. Registration price to pay, fantastic, with a little bit of a gas fee. So it's $7.30 at maximum. 
Now, request to register with ETH. If you go back over to Galaxy, to reverse a domain, please visit our website. Make sure that you've already purchased one domain, select the domain you wish to resolve and save. So click register. We're gonna pay for this, $7.09. And hopefully, guys, we should even get a scroll name service token airdrop as well. Because this is what they've been doing with other ones such as ZK Sync Domains, Ethereum Name Service, and so many more. So you never know, guys, we might even get an airdrop for this, which could be an extra bonus. Now, we've done that. We've registered. If we go over to our domains. Go to my profile. It says reverse records. This designates one of your names to represent your account and act as your cross-platform Web3 username and profile. You can only have one primary name per account and can change it at any time. So select one domain, highcryptoguide.scroll. We're gonna save that, confirm that with a 34 cents gas fee. Don't know why it requires a gas fee. However, it's as simple as doing that. Now, we should be able to go back to Galaxy once this transaction is confirmed and Galaxy have confirmed it. We should be able to claim those points and continue. If we go back over to Galaxy, you just have to complete that, refresh it, add liquidity on Zada Finance, add liquidity in Space File and Scroll Mainnet. And guys, that's pretty much it. To continue to use the scroll ecosystem as much as possible, you can use other decentralized applications on here as well, guys. It's not just that. You can also use protocols like Aave, you can use Hot Protocol, Sushi Swap, Stargate Finance, Rolly Finance, which I've never heard of. So make sure you're careful with which applications you interact with and also confirm that the links of the websites are correct. But guys, one more thing. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we have so many crypto airdrops to participate in. As you can see, there's 48 videos with doing at least one airdrop every single week so it's very important that you get involved in this if you want to make up to a hundred thousand dollars in airdrops which is my plan anyway like i said multiple times nothing is financial advice this is personally my own journey and i'm sharing it with all you guys because i want to share the love and exactly what i'm doing if i'm going to make it rich i want you guys to be just as rich or even richer now guys this is pretty much it for this video if you've enjoyed it please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever and if you have any of the other questions that are more important and you can't get hold of me then don't hesitate to come over to twitter message me on hi crypto guy and i will be as happy to help you as i possibly can also that goes without saying follow jules at alt crypto gems on twitter he's an absolute legend don't forget to join the alt crypto talk discord and follow us on twitter and guys, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. And we also have a promotion running on Bybit, the best centralized exchange platform for buying, trading, and earning. Bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies, and you can claim up to $4,380 just by signing up using the link in the description below. It's simple. If you need help finding the right crypto gems, then follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews, crypto guides, and more. Thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and informative. Until next time, DJs.